The Soviet Union launched a satellite, Sputnik, in 1957. The space race was born. A new space program called Project Mercury was created. President Dwight D. Eisenhower had elected a group of representatives to manage Project Mercury. Project Mercury was to have a spacecraft orbit around the Earth while man was inside and have him safely return to Earth. The Soviet Union took a win on having its first successful man orbit around Earth in 1961. The United States was devastated. It was falling behind schedule. But the president wasn't gonna let that hold him down. President John F. Kennedy was going to set a national goal on May 25th, 1961. The president asked for seven to nine billion dollars for the next five years to fund the space programs. John Glenn Jr. was the first American to orbit around Earth and returned to Earth safely on February 20th, 1967. The launch was made here in Cape Canaveral called Friendship 7. And John landed in the Atlantic Ocean close to Bermuda. This gave a country the motivation to move forward with the space programs and to gather more data. Apollo 11 was famous for the eagle has landed from all over the world. The crew was to do moon landings and return to Earth. President John F. Kennedy helped military technology by giving people jobs in engineering and space, the space program, like here in Florida. Apollo 11's crew was responsible to set up colored television cameras to send back to Earth. They did experience like packaging and lane ranging and solar wind composites. Two crew members had to get samples of the moon to bring back to Earth and photos of the moon surface. The crew Apollo 11 had to launch the LM spacecraft the last mission was for the crew to land back to Earth safely. Apollo 11 was launched from Cape Kennedy on July 16, 1969. The crew members were Commander Neil Armstrong, Commander Module Pilot Michael Collins, and Lunar Module Pilot Edwin Buzz Aldrin. 650 million people tuned in on the television, watching Neil Armstrong took his first step on the moon. One small step for man and one giant leap for mankind, he said on July 20th. The crew was gone for eight days, three hours and 18 minutes and 35 seconds. This event was extremely important for America and space, like what you have here in Orlando.